Let me tell you why automating your Google Ads is probably a bad idea. Well, at least until after you watch this video series on Google Ads automation. Now, if you want to improve the performance of your Google Ads account, this series is for you. Whether you're just getting started or you've been running ads for a long time, we are going to show you the secret to automating Google Ads. And we're going to do this by studying automation capabilities within the Google Ads platform, plus external tools. And not only that, but we're going to learn how to leverage these capabilities to save time, money, and frustration. And here are a few highlights of what we're going to be covering. Whether Google Ads automation is a perpetual money machine that we think it is, what Google Ads automation is and what it's not, because we need to clear up some misconceptions about it, plus a preview of what we'll cover in the next video in this series. And don't forget to download our Google Ads automation workbook at ddu.ai slash adsbook. When it comes to Google Ads, you're going to hear the word automation mentioned everywhere. And this is a problem because automation means something different to everybody that you encounter. And we created this video to help you make sense of what Google Ads automation really is. And in the next few videos, we're going to show you exactly how you can leverage it to get better results at every stage of your advertising career. Okay, so let's start with my opinion, which to some, it might be controversial. If you don't find value out of Google Ads today, automating your ads will only bring you worse results. You need to get the fundamentals right and generate manual success before any automation platform brings you the results you seek. So with that said, is ads automation really necessary? Will it give you better results? That's the question that we will answer in this video series. Okay, so let's start by defining what ads automation is not. Ads automation is not going to do the following. It's not going to save you money or time if your current results are bad. The adage of garbage in, garbage out definitely applies here. It's not going to make Google Ads finally work for you if you're struggling. Again, you have to make it work first manually before you can automate. It's not something that will lower your time commitment of managing ads down to zero. Automation always needs tweaking and maintenance for it to work. It's not foolproof or easy. It's not suitable for small ad spend accounts because only when you get bigger ad spends would automation make sense because of the amount of data you're providing to automate from. It's not a replacement for human decisions. And that goes with just about anything else too. It's not just a Google ads thing. Automation is not a replacement for human decisions. It's not future proof. You'll always be tweaking your automations as long as you're using Google Ads. It's not a guarantee that you won't waste ad dollars. It takes continuous monitoring and tweaking to make sure your ad dollars are being spent in the right place. And finally, it's not a huge time saver at first. Now over time, you will save a lot of time if you run automations and you might even save some money and make more money, but at first it is something that you're going to struggle with. Okay, so we just covered what automation is not. Now let's cover what automation is. And the good news is that I have way more reasons why you should automate and what it is than I did in the negative list. Okay, so I have 14 things to share here. Automation is the following. One, it's the final step in scaling advertising success. And so if you're already successful, you're going to scale it even further if you automate the repetitive tasks and you automate the gathering of data and the feeding of data into the system so you can get even more results out. It's used by the biggest companies and advertisers. All the big companies are doing it, and so maybe you can too if you want to be a big advertiser who's generating a lot of revenue and profit from ads. It helps you make micro decisions more efficiently. It can help you save tons of money by eliminating a lot of your waste in a really automated way, in a way that gives you the power and framework to make decisions. It requires a rules-based approach to work. You can't just do it and say, automate this. You need to know what the rules are and the criteria for success so you can train the systems to work for you. It helps you eliminate inefficient ad spend. It's a great way to amplify your existing success. It's for medium to large size advertisers, not just for the beginners. It's not for the faint of heart. Remember what I said about automation being for bigger ad accounts that require continuous tweaking. It can be a competitive edge in a crowded marketplace. It's alluring to business owners who don't have time but it may be too tempting to use as a shortcut. It can potentially be a time and resource suck, and I've seen that happen if you don't make sure that you have the right structure in place. It's a math problem that quickly becomes a human problem, and it's worth every single penny saved if it pays you back in dollars earned. And so the gist is this. When you're a successful advertiser looking to squeeze out more performance, and reduce your management time, you can use automation to improve your results a further 20 to 100%. 
but only if you're already advertising successfully. Otherwise, you're putting the cart before the horse and you're throwing money away. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed where I talked about Google Ads automation, what it is and what it's not. And now you know why the final step is automation and that comes after you've already found success in advertising. And you probably noticed while watching this video that I referred to a workbook. If you wanna get the Google Ads automation workbook, you can find it at ddu.ai slash ads book. And while you're on our site, be sure to check out our new GA4 toolbox and a ton of other goodies. We also have mastery courses on Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Google Analytics 4, Tag Manager, and Data Studio. And in our next video, we are gonna cover conversion tracking methods for Google Ads.